Now, uh, we don't have free media in Syria. So had we not had this ability to in these networks uh, that can allow people to uh, monitor the situation on the ground and document it, we would never have been able to release the truth. I mean, the international community would be very much like back in 1982. You hear rumors of something going on in Hama, but you don't know the reality of it. You don't see it. But being able to actually document it and within hours telling you and showing you videos of massacres, of, 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 uh, of protests, uh, the protesters who are peaceful standing in front of tanks and sort of lifting their hands and saying the people and the army are one and trying to cajole the army into joining them rather than uh, shooting at them, no one would have seen this kind of bravery. We don't know what kind of bravery happened in Hama in 1982. We don't know what kind of massacres took place in 1982. We only know that a huge chunk of the old city was destroyed and now it's empty. You know, and there is a big hotel there, uh, right on the mass graves, basically. Uh, uh, that that uh, uh, only a couple of journalists who were there by an, uh, uh, accident. Thomas Friedman, I think, is one of them, and uh, um, uh, Robert Fisk is another, who actually managed to document what happened in 1982 and, and tell you there were mass graves and there were uh, massacres. Uh, but other than these two very small accounts, nothing on 1982. We made certain that we don't have another Hama by creating these networks. And of course, Assad is going to be angry. We uh, robbed him of, uh, of, of uh, the ability to massacre people quietly and away from the eyes of the world. We documented his atrocities, and one day he will go to trial, basically, whether it's going to be in The Hague or it's going to be inside Syria itself. It's up to him. But one day he will go to trial because of the atrocities he committed. Uh, uh, and, and because of our ability to document that. So uh, this is what the citizens of Syria, what the citizen journalists did, what this young activist armed with satellite phones and, 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 and smartphones and, and cameras and laptops did 